So in this question about the ever lovely Josephine Baker, let's first focus on what exactly should be the subject of this first part of the sentence. There's a split among the answer choices. Some have Paris as the subject and some have Josephine Baker as the subject. So a very simple question. What really is the topic of the sentence? What is the overall focus of the sentence? The overall sentence is not about Paris. Paris is just mentioned as a place where she lived. The overall sentence is about Josephine Baker herself. So really, Josephine Baker should be the subject of the sentence. And also, just phrasing it, Josephine Baker made Paris home, that's something much more direct than Paris was home to Josephine Baker. So we'll eliminate A, B, and E right away. Those, those are the ones that have Paris as the subject. That leaves us C and D, where Joseph, Josephine Baker herself is the subject. Now in C, we get this phrase in the middle, long before to be an expatriate was fashionable. This is an incredibly awkward and indirect phrase. It's actually a train wreck in terms of GMAT. So that whole choice is out. And right away, that just leaves us with answer choice D. Answer choice D is sleek, direct, has no grammatical mistakes, and it is by far the best answer choice.